All right, now we're going to talk about how to set up some alarms and manage all your clock features and all the good stuff. So if you have a stopwatch or, you know, an actual chronograph or basically a lot of ways to tell time around your house, then you may not need them because you have your new iPad app, which is called Clock, very unimaginatively. So let's tap on Clock and we'll take a look at what it actually is. So as you can see, it opens up with the timer option for me. Uh, it may open up for world clock for you. So we're going to start from left to right. And world clock will basically let you see what time it is in a lot of other locations. And it's easy to add a location. You just click add. And let's say we want to add in Abu Dhabi. And we can see that it is about eight hours ahead from where we are. So it even tells you the time zone change and shows it all on a map. So. This is a nicely upgraded version of the clock feature that was on the original iPad and iPhone. So I definitely recommend that you check it out and you can click on an individual one and it will show you that clock a little bit bigger. And it looks pretty nice. So you can scroll around left to right and it'll be dark if it's nighttime and all that good stuff. So that's world clock. Uh, now we are going to go to alarm clock. So if you want to set an alarm, I don't have any set right now, but if you want to set an alarm, you tap the plus sign on the top right, and let's say we want it to be at 11.45 this morning. So it's currently 11.40, that'll be like five minutes from now. You can choose if you want to repeat it, we'll make it every Sunday. Uh, if you want to label it, you don't need to. Um, if you want a sound, it'll change uh, the sound that you want. Um, or you can buy more tones, which is pretty fun. You don't really need to do that either though. So we'll just hit save and as you can see now it's on. So if you want to turn it off, you just flip this switch on the top right, the little green knob uh, that comes on. So that is about it. You can have a ton of alarms if you want. This is great for planning ahead if you're about to travel. Uh, if you want to change the alarms, you can just hit right here, edit on the top left and you can go here and you can snooze them, cancel them, or even tap this button on the left, which will open up a delete thing on the right. We'll tap delete, and now it's gone. So it's gone for every Sunday. All right, uh, now we're gonna go to stopwatch, and this is a really straightforward one. You can just hit start and stop. <laughs> so if you hit stop, uh, start again, it'll keep going. Uh, but basically then, let's say you're doing laps or repetitions in the gym, you can just hit lap, uh, and then you can also continually do that and it'll tell you all your lap times and your splits. So you hit stop and then you tap reset and it'll get rid of everything. So it's a pretty awesome stopwatch. I would definitely recommend trying it out. It looks even better, I think. Uh, these all look better on landscape mode, uh, especially the world clock. So you can do the alarm and all this stuff works like that too. So. Last thing is a timer, and you can just set a timer so you can choose for how long you want it to run. Let's say you're cooking something or need to do something for a certain amount of time. Let's say you want to do something for an hour and seven minutes. You can just hit start, and it'll play the marimba song when it's done, or you can play the alarm song. <laughs> there you go. So now we'll hit done because we don't need to do that, and it's as easy as that. So that is the many things you can do with the clock app right there. Hope that makes sense and you use it to get your time in order.